Sports next. Uh, that was one of the things that put a smile on our faces over the weekend. But the Super Eagles haven't won that match in uh, Rio and now in Yaoundé, in Cameroon. So we'll take a look at that and we'll be back uh, and talk about that a little further. So far, it's been a roller coaster ride for the Super Eagles of Nigeria in their quest to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. The campaign kicked off in October last year in Indola, Zambia. Now, a chance at Nigeria have scored. Obi, into the change by passes by Nigeria. Chance now for Nigeria. Win has been drawn out of his line. Opportunity, and they've scored. 2 0 Nigeria lead here. The fans loved the result, but of course they wanted more. And against Algeria in Rio, the Eagles improved. Mikel, Victor Moses. Victor Moses. Oh, the pass came a bit too late. Coming forward, and a ball opportunity. Victor Moses. Oh, that is the prophetic rapture of the adult. That's the icing of the cake. And here they come to a rousing welcome. Then came the stern test against African champions, the indomitable Lions of Cameroon. Leon Balogun pairing with, and that's what Dioni Gallo, the way he did this, strength. Accuracy, power. The fans are loving their darling Super Eagles again and believe they can win in Yaoundé. I hope they score more goals in Yaoundé. I hope, uh, I hope I see the likes of Ihan Acho and then Moses doing a great job out there again. And then uh, with Mikel over there in the midfield, I hope, I hope nice things come out from it. The fourth leg, they played fantastically well and they played a very good match, which everybody enjoyed and I wish they continued that. And an opportunity there for Nigeria. With nine points in the bag and three more matches to play, qualification for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia is looking real for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. But first, they will be hoping to sustain this new beautiful momentum when they take on Cameroon in Yaoundé. Austin Okonakwan, Channel Television News. Well, yes, indeed, uh, we're going to be reviewing the match we played and previewing the one we are about to play. We've got to Nam the Oban here with us. Thank you for coming on. And good to see you again. Good to be here. Yeah. And on the happy notes, too, uh, thankfully, uh, we scaled through that match. A lot of people had their hearts in their mouth. But yeah. it turned out that that loss to Cameroon was, we, we needed that kind of result. South Africa. Yeah, sorry, to South, South Africa. Africa yeah. We needed that kind of result to spur us on. But... What do you think changed about this match? Was it about the personnel that we brought in or the coach realized some things were wrong? I think um, since, we're going to, since, we give, since we gave the coaches a lot of stick for the South <laughs> Africa match, let's now give them their credit where it's due. They played to the strength of the players they had on the field from back to front. We had Truste Kong and Leon Balogo, not a natural team. defensive pairing. I mean, mm -hmm. more used to playing in the full-back positions. But we had a midfield that had Onazi, Wilfred Ndidi, and Mikel. And that's basically two defensive midfielders and one deep-line playmaker. So you had a shield in front of the back two. This made Cameroon play from the wings. So you, you see most of the tackles that happened happened on the edge of the 18. They were not getting in from the center. There was no central penetration. So okay. that helped the defenders acclimatize. Same thing in the middle. Our team was set to attack. So, sorry to get to, yeah. to, to button. Uh, we've got uh, Tony Ibito, a spokesperson of the Super Eagles, on the line with us from uh, the media officer of uh, Super Eagles. Good morning, Tony, and thank you for joining us. So what's happening in the mood now? I mean, uh, the players, they should have gotten over that uh, four new result and looking forward to the next match. Could you tell us what's happening in the camp right now? Yeah, well, it's, um, it's, um, we have a very uh, bright day here in, uh, in Yaoundé. Um, as you said, um, we've put the uh, four-nil win in the fourth leg. We've put that behind us. Uh, we're trying to we strategize and plan um, for today's game uh, and see what strategy will be the best. Um, we know that um, the result from the fourth leg was very good for our confidence. Uh, but we know that um, wounded lions are very dangerous. Um, so we have to be very careful, keep our, uh, our feet on the ground, keep our legs on our shoulders, and um, be as composed as we can, be very smart, be very intelligent, and uh, see what we can do. We know that um, um, riding on the crest of uh, that four nil win, we can also get the job done here, uh, and that will be massive for our qualification for uh, the Russia 2018 World Cup. So we, we are. Um, um, I mean, um, 
very optimistic. At the same time, we are uh, humble. We are keeping things as tight as we can. And um, we are not um, taking these Cameroonians for granted at all. Wounded lions can be very dangerous. Uh, although we are in control of uh, our group, we are happy with that. We don't want to lose that control. We want to see what we can do uh, to see that we can um, probably win this game as well. Yeah, because Z Zambia has got four points. Uh, we have seven at the moment. And Zambia, uh, there are reports of them saying that we may not beat Cameroon in Yaoundé. But there are also reports credited to Johnny Gallo saying, I will be fit for the match against uh, Cameroon in Yaoundé. What's going on with the players? Are we going to maintain the same lineup or will there be a change? Yeah, the, the coach will decide on that. Um, officially, the lineup will be out an hour to the game. Just to correct um, an impression, we have nine points, not seven. Uh, oh, sorry. We, have, nine. we have five yeah. points clear of, uh, of, of Zambia. Um, instead of arguing about our beating um, uh, Cameroon in Yaoundé, they should be worried about beating Algeria in Algeria to, to still stay in the, in the race. Uh, but that's not a problem for us. Um, we will do what we need to do. Um, Adrian Igalo is fit. He, 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 will be, he was involved in training yesterday. If the coach is speaking for today's game, he will deliver as, as he did in the first game. Um, Leo Baloko is also fit. He was part of training yesterday. We don't have any injury worries. The players are, are, are good to go. Uh, so if um, the coach decides to pick on any of the players, the 23 players we have here, uh, to start the game, you can be sure that those ones will also do exactly uh, what the starting 11 did against Cameroon on Friday. So you do remember that uh, when the Cameroon was coming to Uyo, the frenzy and the atmosphere in Nigeria here was just fever pitch. And uh, just so many people excited that uh, Nigeria will be going out there and do that magic that so many people were expecting. But tell us about the mood in Yaoundé. Are the Cameroonians also upbeat that this time around the Nigerians are on our turf? Yeah, 